Time now for ABC4 News Sports with Wesley Ruff. BYU Cougars found out the hard way why it's called March Madness. The Cougars suffered a heartbreaking, devastating loss last night in the WCC semifinals against St. Mary's. BYU came into the game on a nine-game winning streak, but boy, they really struggled offensively. Yoli Childs was pretty much the only weapon offensively for the Cougars. He finished with 23 points. The Cougars, who beat St. Mary's on a last-second shot in Pro Bowl, were clinging to a one-point lead when Jordan Ford pulled up and hit the game winner with 1.4 seconds to go. BYU loses 51 to 50. Dana Green was in Las Vegas and has our post game coverage. Well, this time it was St. Mary's with the last second shot. Jordan Ford hits a jumper with 1.4 seconds left, sending BYU home early from Las Vegas. But this game was lost on the offensive end. BYU made just six second half buckets. They shot 36% from the field. TJ Haas was just two of 14. They committed 15 turnovers. And while the Cougars are still going to the NCAA tournament, this one hurts. It's incredibly disappointing. Uh, it's going to actually hurt more in an hour or two, and then it's going to hurt way more tomorrow. And then, you know, we got to pick ourselves up. I think they did a good job of taking us out of what we uh, normally do, what we want to do. Um, they were very physical with us and made us play one on one. During one stretch, BYU went over nine minutes without a basket. They scored a season low 50 points, but the Cougars didn't think the nine day layoff they had played a factor. I don't think that really impacted our performance. I think um, clearly we, we just weren't prepared for the, the nature of the game today. St. Mary's was tougher than us. Uh, they were more physical than us. And with an NCAA tournament bid already locked up, the Cougars plan on learning from this game. This is going to help us, and it's going to make us better. Uh, you know, postseason basketball, you, you're allowed to play a lot more physical. Well, they've rung the bell every time this year. So, you know, last time we suffered a loss, we, we ran off nine straight with some, some epic wins. And so we've been great at writing the story. And so the story we have to write is that this devastating loss will springboard us to, to doing something special. So BYU's nine game winning streak comes to an end and it's going to be a long wait until Sunday when they find out just where they'll be going for the big dance. In Las Vegas, Dana Green, ABC4 Sports. Thanks, Dana.